You know what? Y'all just need to, you know, ream out of my kitchen and put my stove on my island. That's it. So I just need somebody to ream out of my kitchen for free. Of course. Welcome back, it's me, Brittany, AKA Pineapple Vegan, and today I'm gonna show you guys how to make a quick and easy breakfast scramble. So it's gonna be the country fried potatoes, tofu egg, chorizo, spicy sausage, and it's gonna come together in like this delicious bunch of awesomeness and you put on top of the bagel with salsa and avocado if you choose to. Let me just show it to you. All the stuff that you'll need. So I'm actually going to be using Dave's Killer Bread and these are the everything bagels. And then to keep it really simple, I just use the frozen potatoes, um, the potatoes O'Brien that I get from Kroger. And it's the Kroger brand, but you can get any brand or you can cut up your own potatoes. I didn't measure, but if I had to guess, I would say this is about three cups. And then I used an entire pack of the chorizo. I love this chorizo. It's so bomb, it's delicious. And then I also used extra firm, non-GMO um, tofu. This is a staple in my household as well. I actually used both packs, but I like that this is a twin pack. Twin, twin, twin. Wow. Which means if I don't want to make the whole thing, I could just kind of cut this down the center and use one pack at a time. But for this recipe, I did use both. This is gonna be our egg, okay? And then also we need black Indian salt. This is gonna give our egg the sulfur smell and kind of the eggy taste. And then obviously nooch, a teaspoon of onion powder and a teaspoon of garlic powder and a half a teaspoon of black pepper in here. Pink Himalayan sea salt, I'm going to use this um, to taste. This is my own special spice blend. I ain't gonna tell you what's in it. Just know that you just need a everything seasoning. So something that you use in everything, like it could be like a seasonal or something like that. Just try to keep the salt down. Turmeric, obviously, for our egg. A fully chopped small um, sweet Italian onion. So I just wanted to show you guys how the onions look on their own. They're just like regular red onions, but I do have more in here. And this is about a half of a red bell pepper and a half of a green bell pepper. And I also have a tablespoon, probably a little more than a tablespoon of minced garlic. Follow your heart cheese shreds. Now this is optional. You don't have to add cheese to it if you don't want to, but I definitely recommend adding cheese to this, okay? So first I'm gonna go ahead and put in my bell peppers and my onions. And just so you know, I did already have oil in this pan, only because when you cook with cast iron, it does need to be oiled. You cannot let it just warm up dry because it'll start cracking. Oh, it smells so good. It's so fragrant in here already. So now I'm gonna add in my garlic. So it's really about to start smelling good. While this kind of cooks a little bit, let me go ahead and add a little bit more oil because I'm gonna need a little bit more. Let it kind of fry up, I guess, because next we're gonna be adding our potatoes. With this, it's better to not cook them when they're still frozen. So what I did, I took them out about 30 to 45 minutes ago and I just put them in here and let them sit there, kind of get a little room temperature. Anyway, so now our onions, peppers, and garlic are smelling amazing and they're cooking through pretty well. So now we're gonna add in our potatoes. So remember what I said about the oil? I need to add some more because this needs to fry. So what I'm gonna do is let these potatoes cook through. I want them to be really crispy and brown. So not all the way, but as soon as they start turning brown. So you'll see. So it's not completely cooked, but it's turning brown. So what we're gonna do is make a little hole right here in the center. And we're gonna add a little bit more oil just to the center part. And then we're gonna add our chorizo, or our soy rizo. So now we have that chorizo in the center, and we're just gonna kinda move it around a little bit. 
and let it cook in the center before we mix it in with everything else. And add some more oil. Now the reason why I keep having to add oil is to avoid using too much oil. I'd rather add to it because it's easier to add to, but you can't take oil away. So now I'm going to mix my potato in with it. Try not to break up the potato. You don't want it to be a big mushy mess. Just kind of fold it into each other gently. So this is how it looks after it's been blended together. And we're just gonna cook this through a little more. So I'm leaving it like this. I basically smoothed it out. And I'm gonna let it cook on this side for a little bit, then I'm gonna flip it to cook on the other side before we make our egg. What you need eggs for? You make an egg McMuffin. So now it's time for me to flip it over. Okay, so I'm flipping it over now. And you can see it's kind of like charred in some spots. That's what we want. So let's finish flipping it over. And we can go on to our egg. So make another hole in the center. As before, just a light drizzle of oil in the center. And then add your tofu. Now I already crumbled mine up. This tofu, I didn't really drain it. All I did was open the packages and then I just got a paper towel and gently squeezed it. I don't, I didn't really care about all the moisture being out because it's gonna get cooked out into this, okay? So all I did was lightly squeeze it and then crumble it up with my hands. That's it. I'm gonna chop it around like eggs. And now we're going to add our onion powder, garlic powder, and black pepper. And then I'm gonna add a hefty teaspoon of nooch and just kind of mix that in together. I'm gonna take one little pinch of pink salt and now it's time for our turmeric. This gives our egg the eggy color, and I do like the taste that it gives as well. And this is just under a teaspoon of turmeric. This is how it looks after you kind of blend all that stuff together. Looking real eggy. So this is my black Indian salt, or Indian black salt. Um, I've only found it in Indian stores, and I'm pretty sure you can order it online as well. About a half of a teaspoon of Indian salt and put that directly on your egg. It instantly smells like eggs, I swear. It's so funny, when I served my um, breakfast sandwich at the market, because I did my own um, homemade breakfast sandwich, homemade sausage, egg, everything. When I was doing the eggs and I added the um, Indian black salt, people were like, I thought you were vegan, you smell like eggs. <laughs> so this is how it looks in the center of the scramble. Okay, so now we're gonna just mix everything together. Ooh, it smells amazing. And I'm just gonna get my everything seasoning and add it. And I'm going to sprinkle it with cheese. We love Follow Your Heart shreds. It just melts perfectly, the flavor is perfect, and I don't understand why people still eat dairy cheese, honestly. So I put the cheese on top. And now I'm just gonna cover it off of the burner and let the cheese kind of do its own thing. I'm just gonna set it to the side. It's still hot, still in there cooking. I can hear it, I just covered it up. It's the cast iron skillet, so it's gonna keep cooking as long as it's hot. So while we're waiting for that to set, we're gonna go ahead and toast our bagels. This bread is so good. You never think it's good for you. It's 26 grams of whole grains, 13 grams of protein in one serving. Plenty of carbs, but who cares? I have a spray that I use, but I don't feel like going to grab it. I'm just being honest. So all we're gonna do is just put our bagel open side face down. And while that's toasting, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my salsa. I'm actually gonna be using the Plain Old Salsa Company and their smoke medium salsa. It's homemade and the owner is amazing. This company is amazing. The salsa is so delicious. You can taste the smokiness in it. So it's the Plain Old Salsa Company and it's so good. That's what we're using and that's what we use every day when we make this actually. Oh, let's check on 
our scramble. So this is what happened. Oh my God, it's so perfect. This is what happened to that cheese after we covered it up. So now let's take our bagels off, perfectly toasted. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put salsa on the bottom. I know that's kind of backwards, but that's how we like it. Cause we want salsa in every bite and that way we can guarantee that we get salsa in every bite. So now I'm going to put my scramble on top. This is so good that my non-vegan meat-eating brother actually loves this too. And don't be stingy, don't be scared. Mound that on there. Mm, so good. And I decided to put avocado on top. And then I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of extra nooch. And this is how it looks and I'm gonna try it for you guys. So good, complete fire. Please make this. Your life would never be the same. It's so good. I did say that this is a quick and easy breakfast option, but honestly, you can have this for like lunch or dinner too. And let's just be all the way real. I eat breakfast for dinner sometimes. I love breakfast food. But guys, I really hope you liked this video. And if you did, go ahead and click that like button. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And click that notification button so that you'll be notified whenever I upload a video. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, keep eating vegan food and keep saving the animals. And like Jay says, save the turtles. Bye-bye. <laughs>